AFC Wimbledon 1 Sutton United 3, Maxime Bayamu sets up please tie in dramatic late rally. An hour after the final whistle, the party was still going strong in the Sutton United dressing room. And no wonder. With victory over AFC Wimbledon in this third round replay, Paul Doswell's non-leaguers had seized the most financially significant prize of their history, a home fourth round tie with Leeds United. For the ecstatic 800 visiting supporters who had made the short journey up the Kingston Road, this was their finest moment since Coventry were knocked out back in 1989. Suddenly, they were up in the money. We'll get £65,000 for winning this game, £140,000 from the TV for the Leeds tie, plus at least another £90,000 in tickets and sponsorship, said the Sutton manager, Doswell. Before that though, we're going to celebrate this. I've told my wife not to expect to see me for 72 hours. What a result this was. The National League side dispensed of a club sitting two divisions higher than them. And they did so with a coolness and efficiency that belied the gap in status. It was a replay which had drawn a bevy of familiar faces to Kingsmithow, from Ray Wilkins, through the comedian Tim Vine to the Paralympian David Weir. Intrigued by the possibilities inherent in this suburban local derby, the leafy encounter no one has yet dubbed out called to say so. If Sutton were disappointed when the experienced Nicky Bailey dropped to the bench after suffering a back spasm on the morning of the game, they did not show it. Twice in the opening minutes they bore down on the AFC goal. First Craig Eastman drew a sharp save from his former Arsenal youth team colleague James Shee, then the ex-Wimbledon forward Matt Tubbs shot wide. Doswell thought his chance of advancing had gone with those misses. Especially when, from their first attack, Wimbledon scored. Dean Perrott swung in a free kick and the towering Tom Elliott, unchallenged and alone, had it in. How the former Leeds Academy player enjoyed the thought that he might have set up a game in the next round against Old Club. Sutton, however, bounced straight back. Tubbs beat the offside trap and was heading unopposed on goal. AFC centre-back Paul Robinson hauled him down and was shown a straight tread card. It changed the game, said Dartley. But if it had, it was not immediately apparent. With Perrick taking a grip on the midfield and Jay Creaves busy alongside him, for the next 75 minutes Wimbledon did not appear unduly discomforted by the numerical disadvantage. On a pitch far stickier than the smooth artificial surface they are used to, Sutton burst out of the blocks after halftime, by him to put a gilt-edged invitation of a chance wide. Sutton kept trying, but Wimbledon absorbed everything. But then, with time running out, Raw Airy Deacon, twisted and turned on the edge of the area before swerving a long-range shot past she. The man who had scored the winner against Cheltenham in the previous round injected the whole enterprise with hope. Sutton pushed for the winner. Wimbledon could not withstand the flurry and a delighted by him who side-footed the substitute Dan Fitchett's through ball to put the visitors into the lead. Fitchett then added a volley of his own in added time. And now for Leeds. That's if the party finishes in time. Thank you.